so hello students in my previous video we have seen the classification of the elementary particles and we have classified the elementary particles as the leptons and the hardons leptons are the particles which are taking part into the weak interaction whereas the hardons are the particles which are taking part in a strong interaction so the leptons are the particles which are elementary particles means they are not made up of anything further but the hardons are the particles which are made up of quarks okay so in a previous video we have seen that hardons are made up of quarks now six quarks are available with us so these quarks are up quark down quark charm quark strange quark top quark and bottom quark as we have seen in atomic and molecular physics so we have dealt with some quantum numbers here also we are dealing with the quantum numbers of this elementary particles so the quantum numbers are nothing but the properties of that particle similarly these quarks will also have some properties and these properties are named as a quantum numbers of the elementary particles what are the quantum numbers of these elementary particles so let me first tell you the six quarks are available with us so up quark down quark charm quark strange quark top quark and bottom quark and the signs are given as for up quark it is assigned as u for down quark d charm quark c strange quark s top quark t and bottom quark b the initial first letter is assigned as a symbol okay then each particle or the all the quarks have the speed one half okay which is written over here so see here these numbers have come from a lot of uh, quantum mechanical calculations uh, which is not part of our theme right now it will take a lot of time or it is a time consuming so i'll just telling you that these are the properties of this quarks okay then iz is a z component of this isospin which is plus one half for a up quark and minus one half for the down quark then charge yes this is an important property from which we are going to calculate charges of all the mesons and hardons okay so charge on a up quark is 2 by 3 on a down quark the charge is 1 by 3 charm quark has a uh, charge of 2 by 3 strange quark has a charge of minus 1 by 3 then for top quark it is 2 by 3 and bottom quark it is minus 1 by 3 so there are four more quantum numbers or the properties of these quarks just like atom is having a spin angular momentum orbital angular momentum magnetic uh, momentum orbital angular momentum or the total angular momentum similarly so the charmness strangeness topness and bottomness these are also the properties of these quarks now charmness for the charm quark is 1 otherwise for all remaining quarks it is 0 then strangeness for strange quark is minus 1 and for the remaining quarks it is a 0 then topness for the top quark is 1 otherwise it will be 0 and the bottomness for the bottom quark is minus 1 otherwise it will be 0 and the baryon number is 1 by 3 for all the particles so according to the principle of the parity we know that whenever there is a particle antiparticle exists so this uh, up quark will have the anti up quark then down quark will have the antiparticle as anti down quark anti charm quark for a charm quark anti strange quark for a strange quark anti top quark for a top quark and anti bottom quark for the bottom quark so these are the antiparticles and they have assigned the symbols of up quark symbol is u and bar above that so so antiparticles have been assigned as a symbols of u and above this bar is provided so antiparticle or anti u quark is given the symbol of u and the bar above it so these are the quantum numbers of the elementary particles now let us see how these quarks make of all the mesons and baryons as we have seen that the elementary particles have been classified into the two parts as the leptons and the hardons 
Hardons are the particles which are taking part in strong interactions. Leptons are the elementary particles. They are not made up of anything further. Okay, so these are the smallest particles. Now, hardons are further classified into the mesons and the baryons. So, the mesons and baryons are not the elementary particles, but they are made up of quarks. Now, the meson is made up of one quark and one antiquark, and whereas the baryon is made up of three quarks. Here, I have written meson. So, mesons are made up of one quark and one antiquark, and the baryon is made up of three quarks. Okay, so see here. The mesons are again classified into the pions, kaons, eta. I have already, uh, as I have already explained, that uh, there are many types of the mesons like F, D, which I have not taken over here. So these are the famous, most widely used. So I have taken only few examples of the mesons. So the pions is uh, one type of a meson which comes in a triplet form. So pion is in a triplet form and it comes as pi plus pi minus and pi zero now here we can see that pi plus is made up of one up quark and one anti down quark so we know that the up quark has a charge of 2 by 3 and anti down quark down quark has a charge of minus 1 by 3 and anti quark will have the charge of plus 1 by 3 so 2 by 3 and plus 1 by 3 will give you plus 1 which is the charge on a pion similarly if you have a pi minus pion so pi minus pion is made up of anti up quark and down quark we know that up quark has a charge of 2 by 3 so anti up will have a charge of minus 2 by 3 and a down quark with a charge of minus 1 by 3 so the total charge on a pi minus will be minus 1 so this is how all the pions, kaons and eta are made up of. Let me write it here. So see here. So this up quark has a charge of 2 by 3. And minus anti quark this is having a charge of minus 2 by 3. So this will give you 0. Or down quark it is having charge of minus 1 by 3. And anti down. So it is having charge of plus 1 by 3. It is equal to 0. As I have already told that. These mesons are made up of quark and anti quark. So, this k is made up of up quark and anti strange quark. So, up quark is 2 by 3, anti strange is plus 1 by 3. So, it will give you plus 1 charge. Similarly, anti up is minus 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. So, that will give you minus 1. So, bottom quark is minus 1 by 3 and anti strange quark is plus 1 by 3. That is going to give you 0. So, this is how the charges on each particle can be calculated. The most famous well-known examples of the baryons are the protons and the neutrons. So, we always say that proton has a plus 1 charge whereas a neutron is a neutral. So, why neutron is a neutral? Actually, it is made up of fractional charges. But the overall charge on a neutron is always 0. Let us see how that comes. See here, proton is made up of up, up and down quark. So, up quark has a 2 by 3, plus 2 by 3, minus 1 by 3. So, plus 2 by 3, plus 2 by 3, minus 1 by 3. That comes out to be plus 1. That's why we say that proton has a positive charge. Whereas, this neutron, minus 1 by 3, down quark, minus 1 by 3, and plus 2 by 3. So, the total of the charge comes as to be 0. That's why we say that neutron is a neutral Actually, neutron also has a fractional charges of minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3 and 2 by 3. Okay. Similarly, if you try to solve this, okay, you can calculate the charges on the baryons. So, the moral of the story is baryons are made up of 3 quarks and the mesons are made up of 1 quark and anti quark. It means that leptons are the elementary particles whereas the hard-on particle are not the elementary particles they are made up of quarks so i have written one more formula which is named as the gelman nishijima formula which is used to evaluate the charge on any particle in an elementary physics which is a very well known and a famous formula uh, which says that this q is equal to iz plus b plus s upon 2 where this q is a charge on any elementary particle b is a baryon number 
IZ that is a Z component of the isosceles and yes is the strangeness of course by using this uh, quantum number table and by using this gelman nishijima formula even if uh, the particle is totally unknown to us we can evaluate the charge on this particle by using this gelman nishijima formula thank you for watching